Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the course Management Information Systems. We were doing the Chapter 6 Telecommunications, Internet and Wireless Technology from the Module 2 Information Technology Infrastructure. We're going to continue with the same chapter today as well uh, and we'll be doing the second part of the chapter that is about the wireless technology. Last lecture mein, we were doing the telecommunications sec uh, section. Telecommunications ka humne background overview dekha tha, that what is telecommunication, uska general model dekha tha, structure telecommunication ka kis tarah kaam karta hai. That is that in a simple uh, telecommunication system, there is one sending device that sends the data uh, which is connected with another communication device that is uh, connected with that computer or any kind of sending device that converts the signals to be transmitted over the communication medium and that communication medium at the receiving end again is connected to a receiving device through a communication device. Again that converts the signals from the uh, uh, signals that can run on the communication medium to the signals ca that can be manipulated by the uh, receiving device that could be any server, computer, mainframe or any kind of device that can uh, process the information digitally. The next, we were talking about the different kinds of communication channels. Communication channels ki baat kare se, we were talking about the physical communication channels, we were talking about the wireless communication channels. Physical communication channel ki jab baat ki thi, we said that it has two basic kinds of uh, characteristics. Number one was the bandwidth and number two was the latency. Bandwidth was about the rate of transmission that uh, runs through that communication medium. Latency was the time required to uh, transfer uh, data from one point to another point. And then we saw that both these uh, things were depending upon the kind of uh, material that was being used. So either it was the twisted pair cable, the coaxial cable, these had relatively slow speeds and relatively uh, longer latency, whereas we saw that uh, fiber optics or the uh, technology that was based on the f uh, optical fibers provides you faster speeds, provides you more security and reliable communication. As well as that, it also provides you to uh, have the cabling over long distances as well. Then we looked at the uh, different kinds of wireless communication channels where we saw that why do we use the wireless uh, communication channels where it's difficult to install the cables. For example, in ru rural areas or for example in areas that have uh, water uh, in between a sea or river or a, and it's difficult for you to uh, provide enough cabling there. Usme hum teen cheezein dekhi thi. Number one was the uh, microwave transmission that again uses the radio waves. And microwave transmission was a fixed line transmission. That means it required a line of sight for the different kind, the two microwave towers to communicate with one another. And also the microwave towers were communicating with the satellite as well. That means the satellite was taking data from one microwave uh, tower. Uh, sort of decoding the data uh, and uh, amplifying it and then uh, broadcasting the data over other uh, microwave towers as well. Next time we saw another kind of uh, wireless communication was through the help of radio waves. Radio waves mein different technologies aa jati hain, jo, uh, or protocols aa jati hain, standards aa jati hain, jo hum aaj dekhenge. And then we talked about infrared waves as well. Infrared again required a line of sight transmission between two devices that had the IRDA port or the infrared port. Then we talked about the computer network, that what is a computer network which consists of two or more connected computers or different kinds of devices together and network create karne ke liye again you had very simple uh, objects that were creating the network, one was the client computer, then you have the dedicated server, server could be any kind of server, file server, web page server, web server etc. And then all the computers would have a network interface that would pro provide connectivity to the network. And then the simple network has the communication medium or the connection medium. And then every server or if, if you are having a peer-to-peer -peer setup, then every computer will have a network operating system installed in it. And then you can have routers, hubs, switches, modems, etc. 
uh, part of the network as well. And then we, while uh, discussing that, we saw different kinds of uh, devices that were used to provide the connectivity. This we have network interface card. Then we saw that there is a modem that also works that works in a, a network that converts the analog signals to digital signals or converts the signals that could be transmitted over the communication medium. And then we saw there's router as well that is uh, providing connectivity between different computers and also uh, allowing the packets to pick up the fastest route and travel from one place to another. And then there was a wireless access point that was providing access to the wi internet wirelessly and it was then connected those wireless devices to the any kind of wired uh, network or to uh, access the server and discussing that while discussing that we uh, saw different uh, kinds of uh, small structures network structures ke aap different devices ko kis tarah connect karke chote home networks ya small business networks bana sakte hain then uh, we studied different kinds of protocols as well or different kind of technologies that were used in the networks. One of them was packet switching that is that jo data author that is divided into simplified packets and those packets have the address of the location, the address of the destination, the address of the sender as well as the data what what is contained in it as well as the error checking checking techniques and the protocols or the rules or the standards that were required to do that uh, to that are that were required ke aapke packets kis tarah banenge unki sequencing kis tarah hogi uh wo kon kon se routes leke uh, destination pe jayenge that was defined by the tcp ip protocol with the help of the router was being used basically according to the tcp ip protocol to dispatch those packets in different directions right today we're going to start off with the wireless communications wireless communication hum Use we have the wired communication as well that was that was using the physical transmission medium. Now we're going to talk about the wireless communication. Ek advantage humne ye bola tha that it was uh, uh, easier to install in areas jahan pe cabling mushkil hai. Also, the advantage is kya hai wireless communication ke that it helps businesses stay in touch with customers, suppliers and partners more easily and more flexibly. Then it provides flexible arrangements for organizing work. When you are uh, using the wireless devices, then you can do perform business operations on the go as well while using your wireless or handheld devices, your smartphones, etc. Then another advantage is that it helps create new products, services, and sales channels. So, if your technology is dispersed, or if your technology is new, then it gives you ideas of creating new products and ideas of creating new kinds of services for your businesses. And also, it provides easier access to remote corporate areas. If your uh, offices are in remote areas, mein, offshore, in some other country, or yeah, they are in different cities, you can coordinate the work of different offices with the help of wireless communication as well. Now let's talk about the wireless communication standards. So in wireless communication, ki baal karte hai, iske jo transmission speed hai, again that is in the form of bits per second. So the total amount of uh, digital information that can be transmitted through a telecommunication medium is measured in bits per second. So either it's kilobits per second, megabits per second or gigabits per second. And one uh, signal change or cycle is required to transmit uh, one or several bits, therefore the transmission capacity of each telecommunication medium is a function of its frequency. So depending on the frequency, you can figure number of cycles. Figure out karte the number of cycles per second that can be sent through the medium is measured in hertz. So hertz is the measuring unit of sending the cycles or the cycles per second that can be sent through the medium. Right, so you will know different standards, ke mein ptaungi, I will going to give you the speed in terms of hertz and different kinds of, um, different kinds of their range, that means that their uh, transmission ki range is how much it is. Right, ji. so the range of frequencies that can be accommodated on a particular telecommunication channel is called its bandwidth. So the frequencies that are going on in the radio waves, radio waves are specific frequency on which is working on any standard. So that is basically their bandwidth. 
Right, you, number one, we have Bluetooth. Bluetooth kya is again a wireless networking standard that can be used to create a personal area network. Personal area network means ke ek chota sa network hota hai of one person that is connecting the devices that can be used in the personal area. For example, our printer attached kar sakte hain through Bluetooth, keyboard attached kar sakte hain, mouse attached kar sakte hain. So these kind of peripheral devices can be attached to create a personal network to a short range ke upar hai. So Bluetooth ka range is, at, is around 10 meters and it works on the 722 kilobits per second working on the 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth. And Bluetooth useful kin kin devices ke liye again like I said peripheral devices jo ke low battery power consumption hai jin ki. So they work on batteries because Bluetooth basically requires very low power consumption. So it is useful for battery powered devices such as printers or keyboards. Again ek, ek use to ye ho sakta Bluetooth ka ke aapne personal area network apna create ki hai by connecting different devices with the help of Bluetooth. Also, Bluetooth can be used to transfer data from one mobile device to another mobile device. And not just mobile devices, it can be it can send one uh, data from a mobile device to any computer as well with the help of Bluetooth. If you have computer mein Bluetooth enabled, hai, uh, smartphone can have Bluetooth enabled, hai, you can send data from one device to another as well. Again, if it is coming under uh, within that 10 meters range. Uh, also, big companies also utilize this technology, sir, personal area networks ke liye nahi, lekin different companies isko is tarah use kar for example, FedEx, again is a packaging company, a packaging and transporting company that, uh, that allows its uh, drivers to use this Bluetooth technology to transfer data from the handheld devices to the uh, different kinds of receivers that take in data from the handheld devices and send them to the uh, different computers. So it signals to transmit data from handheld devices through Bluetooth. So wo Bluetooth ko, instead of docking that handheld device into that system so that it gets connected with it physically, to wo, through the help of radio waves and through the help of Bluetooth they transfer the data from one device to another device. So that it's easier to do that and it's more efficient in this way. Righty, next we have a uh, the Wi-Fi, which is also called Wireless Fidelity. Again, it is the name of a standard uh, called 802.11. Is a net uh, again a wireless network standard, which is called Wi-Fi name diya gaya. And basically, Wi-Fi is a standard for wireless LAN. If you want to local area network create karna wirelessly, then the standard that you're going to use or the technology you're going to use is the Wi-Fi, and it's also used for wireless internet access as well. Wireless internet access is such a way that you're creating a simple hotspot or different devices jo bhi us range, us hotspot ke range ke hai, they are connecting uh, to, uh, through that Wi-Fi to access the internet. Range kya hai iska? Yaan pe sorry mistake hui hai. Range is 30 to 50 meters. Is range ke andar, that means their transmission range is 30 to 50 meters and they work at the speed of 11 megabits per second to 54 megabits per second. So basically aapka jo ye standard hai 802.11 is basically a series of standard uh, which is 802.11a, 802.11b, g and n similarly. So 11 megabits per second is the um, speed for A and 54 megabits per second is the speed for uh, B. So there's a difference, uh, so depending on uh, what kind of standard you're using, aapko usi ki, uh, accordingly speed milegi. Again, they work in the, under the 2.4 gigahertz zone. Achha, iske alawa 802.11n that is the fastest uh, uh, standard that provides a speed of 100 megabits per second and it is based on a multiple input multiple output technology that means it uses multiple trans, uh, receivers and transmitters to access the data that's why it's a faster technology it's the speed faster then again Wi-Fi it is used in basically creating hotspots uh, and mostly in public areas, for example, airports, cafes, hotels, lounges, 
एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा इस किस्म की जगहों के ऊपर आप और इवन कॉलेज कैंपस इज इज वेल डिफरेंट हॉटस्पॉट क्रिएट होते हैं विद द हेल्प ऑफ अगेन वर्क हैंड ऑफ डिवाइस वर्ड यूसिंग कुड बी यूज्ड हेयर Yes, a wireless access point again can be used to create a simple hotspot. Or जो भी उस hotspot या उस transmission range के अंदर आता है, that person can connect his mobile device, smartphones, laptops, handheld devices or any kind of tablet computer with the help of by either having a passcode. सोसिएटेड विद या कुछ हॉटस्पॉट्स जो होते हैं वो फ्री भी होते हैं यू डोंट हैव यू डोंट नीड टू टाइप इन एनी काइंड ऑफ पासवर्ड यू कैन जस्ट गेट कनेक्टेड टू इट वंस यू आर इन दैट रेंज सो हॉटस्पॉट इज अ बेसिक एग्जांपल और द बेसिक यूज ऑफ दिस वाईफाई टेक्नोलॉजी और जी नेक्स्ट वी हैव वाई मैक्स व्हिच इज अ वर्ल्ड वाइड इंटरऑपरेबिलिटी फॉर माइक्रोवेव एक्सेस एंड दिस हैज अ रेंज ऑफ 30 टू 31 माइल्स एंड वर्क्स एट 75 मेगाबिट्स पर सेकंड राइट जी सो अगेन एस यू कैन सी इट हैज अ वाइडर रेंज देन द वाईफाई एंड ब्लूटूथ ठीक है उनसे ज़्यादा रेंज का है एंड स्पीड्स बेस की ज and uh, this kind of technology or standard is used in areas where it's difficult to have uh, again Wi-Fi uh, communication as well as broadband reinstalling so you use Wi-Fi again in areas which are rural or in areas where dispersed people are so this technology can be used here Right, the uh, connectivity is again provided by the Wi-Max towers, as you, s you can see in the picture here. Okay, different uh, Wi-Max uh, Wi towers uh, that are also communicating with one another because uh, you are, if you are communicating with one tower, that tower can communicate with another tower, which can again provide you connection to the internet, or you can directly uh, communicate with the tower, which directly communicates with the internet. So, uh, this is you have different towers, either they communicate with one another or they provide you the internet connection for transfer of data. In Pakistan, mein, uh, we have uh, uh, Vatin, which is again a uh, company of wire that is providing you this Wimax uh, technology as well as QB, which is also providing this Wimax te uh, technology in rural as well as urban areas. Next, we have uh, another standard called the RFID, which uh, stands for Radio Frequency Identification. Uh, and it this is basically a standard for radio signals to communicate with a tag. So, in this standard, mein, there are not two mobile devices communicating with one another, but there is one tag that is called the RFID tag that is communicating with any other kind of device and that device is called the RFID reader. So, a tag or reader ne kistra read karna hai, so RFID basically uh, standardizes that communication. Basic use of RFID kya hai, that it is used to track goods that are on the move uh, throughout the supply chain. So, basically they are used for tracking any kind of either its products, either its animals or even sometimes RFID chips are placed in uh, uh, human beings as well to uh, track the movement of people as well. So RFID chips जो हैं वो एक किस्म की चिप बहुत small हो सकती है. For example, this passive chip जिसकी हम बात करेंगे that is very expensive and very small and can be placed on animals as well to track their movement. Right? The RFID uh, system का दो basic components हैं. Number one is RFID tag. RFID tag as you can see in the picture basically is used to identify any kind of product. So, identification ke liye uski jo bhi information hai that is embedded or placed in that embedded microchip ya memory chip jisko hum keh sakte hai and it has another component called the antenna. So, there is one uh, as you can see here this is the microchip or the memory chip and the rest of the tag is the simple antenna that is used to transmit the data to the receiver. So the kind of information placed in the RFID tag is simple as information in the barcode that means it has the manufacturing date, the name of the product, the ID of the product as well as uh, as well as the tracking information as well, additional information here obviously that the product is in location so different kinds of information can be placed in the RFID tags in their memory chip. 
right then we have two kinds of tags a active tag and a passive tag active tag is battery powered and it can send data automatically and it's, it is relatively expensive because of because of its battery powered capability then we have the passive tag which is powered by the signals from the readers abhi hum dekhte hain rfid reader kaise kaam kar raha hai and it is much lighter and less expensive than the passive tags so the next component is the rfid reader rfid reader basically reads the tag jo bhi information tag ke andar se aa rahi hai it reads that tag while capturing the data it decodes it and then it sends it over to the network uh, to any kind of computer over the network to any kind of computer so it reads any kind of data which is in its range again rfid reader ki read karne ki bhi ek certain range hai so if the rfid tag is within that range then it uh, reads the data and sends that data over to any kind other kind of computer also the readers um, also send electromagnetic waves or they send the signals and when the when the signal is received by the tag especially a passive tag then that passive tag is activated because of that signal and it sends the data to the reader so that the reader reads that data and sends it over to any other kind of computer for processing again aapke jo active tag hain they are battery pow- powered they don't need a, a activation by the signal wo automatically when, whenever they are in the range of a certain reader they automatically send the data to the reader right ji so uh, rfid is a very uh, upcoming technology and in fact it is being used by different kinds of companies especially in the supply chain they not only track single objects they track uh, they track complete shipments as well and different kinds of package packaging as well so different kinds of um, uh, companies uh, like for example uh, packaging companies are also uh, employing this kind of technology to attract their uh, systems or to, tra- uh, to track their products from one place to another right now uh, since uh, uh, this kind of technology is being used in the supply chain so many businesses need to improve their hardware and software to accommodate the large amount of data that are received from the rfid so uh, like uh, like we said before that because of new technology different kinds of services and different kinds of uh, sales channels emerge because of these kind of technologies so similarly sap and oracle are offering rfid ready versions for their SCM application that is the supply chain management applications may they have the uh, capability to manipulate the RFID data so that's why they are the RFID ready versions for SCM applications right ji so so far we have uh, looked at different uh, different kinds of wireless communication standards number one being the bluetooth jo ke bahut small range pe kaam kar raha hai then we have the wifi and then we have the wiremax that is working on the 31 miles a radius ke upar wo kaam kar raha hai which is pretty much the same as the microwave towers just range ke upar kaam kar rahe the and then we have rfid again a special kind of standard that is that defines the communication between a tag and a device next we have the cellular network right ji when we are talking about wireless networks so cellular network is again a wireless network that we have so it was basically developed by the ITU international communication union which de- developed the standard for cellular networks in 1999 and that is to standardize uh, the communication between cellular devices as well as allow global roaming right so mobile communication standards jo hain wo different tarah ke hain number 1 is a global system for mobile communication jisko c gcm uh, gsm bhi bolte hain as well as cdma gsm uh, ek tarah ke countries mein kaam kar raha hota for example uk and 120 other countries and cdma is working in usa and india and uh, different countries as well so there are two different kinds of standards that are working for providing communication between mobiles right also we have the standards called gprs which is the general packet radio service edge and evdo which is evolution data optimize so from iske liye jo cheez use ho rahi thi for example you have the evo device again 
that they say is based on the 3G technology and it allows uh, 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 wireless connectivity to the internet as well. So basically, your mobile communication standards so hain, do provide karte hain. Ek hai, they provide the uh, functionality of uh, wireless modems ko connectivity provide ke liye ke liye use hote hain, wireless modems ko and also they provide communication between cellular devices. So, aapke initially jab um, standards create hoye the, then unko hum generation ki base ki par divide karte hain. For example, the first generation or 1G was basically about communicating through the analog signals. So, it was uh, providing the analog connectivity. Then we had the 2G technology which is, which is currently being used in Pakistan as well which is uh, but provides connectivity uh, for digital data so digital data as well as voice can be transmitted uh, with the help of 2G technology 3G even though Evo says that they're using the 3D 3G technology but let's say uh, let's see we don't know yet 3G technology uh, is working at 144 kilobits per second again in a 2.4 uh, so 3G technology is working at 144 kilobits per second to 2.4 megabits per second and it provides um, larger da digital data to be transferred uh, for example video, voice over IP, graphics and rich media uh, can be transferred uh, uh, through the cellular networks to the mobile devices. And the next uh, upcoming technology is the fourth generation or the 4G that provides again higher speeds uh, uh, to the cellular networks so that you can have larger amounts of data and heavy rich media for example you can do the streaming through the cellular networks as well. What you can do right now with the smartphones uh, uh, is that up small packets of data be received kar sakte with the help of the smartphone technology jo aapka simple uh, smartphone communication hoti hai while using the network uh, internet that is provided by the uh, cell companies for example jo aapke agar aapne u phone ka connection liya hua hai to aap uske saath kya kar sakte you can receive emails do a little bit of facebooking as well but it's relatively slower than if you connect that device to a Wi-Fi. If you connect Wi-Fi with your connect kar rahe, apna, uh, mobile phone or smartphone, then you can do the streaming, you can watch videos, music, etc. etc. But if you're connected with a cellular network, then your speeds are relatively slow. Jati hai. The downloading becomes relatively slow. It's because again, uh, Pakistan, mein ye, Itni zyada bhi 3G technology nahi hai. I'm still working on the 2G band. Okay, telecommunications and network applications. That means ke aap ye telecommunication or network ko businesses mein, for example, if you want to use them, then what will be the applications in business? So important business application include number one is linking personal computers to mainframes or servers. So this is the very basic use of a network or telecommunication is that it allows uh, the uh, simple computers to be connected to servers to share any kind of resources or to mainframes to store information or to do heavy processing. So, simple computers can be joined with the servers with the help of the client server architecture or, or through a peer to peer architecture and share different kinds of information and resources. Next we have a voicemail. Voicemail simply is sending and receiving as well as storing verbal messages on the computer. So it's pretty much like an um, answering machine when it's on the phone that you can store the messages for the people. Uh, when, when the voicemail is being used on a the computer then there are other functionalities. For example, a voicemail send kar sakte for a group of people. You can save that voicemail for a group of people and once they give the code to the computer that uh, we want to access this voicemail to wo jo sari voicemail hai broadcast ho jati hai un sare logon ko jin ke liye wo uh, create kiye gayi hai so again it provides you um, an added functionality apart from emails and instant messaging of voicemails uh, bhi kar sakte hain with the help of networks again then the 
uh, with the help of networks, you can create small business networks, again with the help of these uh, telecommunication hardware or communication hardware devices. You can create small networks with very few devices easily. We uh, have last lecture mein bhi dekha tha ki aapke small networks jo hain, wo different devices ke saath kis tarah create ho sakte hain. For example, you can either have a wireless access point that is providing wireless communication to different wireless devices, wireless enabled devices and it is connected with the modem which is providing the internet connectivity. Or you can have a combo device that is a router, firewall, hub, modem all in one. So, this is a device. Hoti hai. For example, in uh, image, you have a Linksys ka device, hai, Zagzel ki devices hoti hai, that provide you the functionality that are combo devices and providing you the functionality of the modem, router, hub, firewall, etc. So, it provides security, reliability, as well as connectivity to different kinds of devices, and you can create a small network with only one device. So, router ki functionalities mein kya aata hai? Filtering bhi aa sakti hai and encryption bhi aa sakti hai. Filtering that means that uh, jab internet uh, information aa rahi hai, then it can filter the sites as well, as well as jo bhi data ja raha hai uh, towards the internet then from the users, then it is encrypting the data as well for security. So, routers ka bhoaz bada function hai, filtering encryption as well as connecting different devices uh, in a small network environment. Right, next we have the electronic document distribution means that with the help of telecommunication you can send and receive digital documents. That means you don't have to have different paper files or uh, loads of different paper documents which transfer karein. You can simply transfer information and data with the help of digital documents as well. So it saves the excess amount of uses of paper and it also allows faster access. Also, if you have a group in an area, um, that, uh, that is working on the same document, then there are different uh, softwares that allow you to do that and they also allow you to modify the uh, same document. So, different kinds of abhi office may be ab Aapke paas ek, uh, feature hota that is called track changes. So, you can whatever changes are made on the document, you can simply track those changes or you can email kar sakte hai, and the per other person can again look at the, the number of changes made and do his own modifications again. So, electronic document distribution ne asan kar diya hai aapka, uh, document bhejna, receive karna as well as usko modify karna or ek document ke upar different loon ka kaam karna asaan ho gaya. Right ji. Next, another function of uh, uh, the telecommunication and network applications is call centers. Okay, so basically offshore call centers basically provide you uh, the technical support services for different kinds of companies and organizations. For example, uh, you have the computer vendor Dell, which um, is offshore uh, technical services and will different places provide. Kiya jate so another application of networks is a telecommuting or virtual workers. Telecommuting means that the people that are belonging to a certain organization or a certain business do not work in the simple of office settings. In instead, they work from home or work from a different kind of location. So, they are communicating with their main office through the help of networks and they're doing their own set of work and then submitting the work. Or, uh, or what is uh, the telecommuting or virtual workers? Ka, that, uh, People do not have to commute to work every day, uh, th so that uh, lessens the load of the traffic, as well as our uh, office equipment is not used. So most of the companies are now moving towards telecommuting because kuch kaam aise hote hain, just me sirf is kisam ki requirement hoti hai that they have to work and they have to submit after some time. Unki regular uh, deadlines nii hoti. For example, programmers hain, they don't have a regular deadline. And it is suitable for people and kind of uh, the kind of work they do that does not require supervision. Yeah, wo independently independently kaam kar sakte hain. 
سپروویژن کے بغیر کام کر سکتے ہیں دے ڈو ناٹ نیڈ اے لاٹ آف سوشل انٹریکشن سو دیر آر سرٹن کائنڈ آف جابس دیٹ ہیو دیز کائنڈ آف فیچرس سو ان جابس کے لیے ہر روز آفس آنا اتنا ضروری نہیں ہے سو ٹیلی کمیوٹنگ اینڈ بینگ اے ورچوئل ورکر بیسیکلی ہیلپس دیم ہیلپس دیم سور آف دے ہوم لائف ایز ویل ایز ورک لائف ٹوگیدر لیکن کچھ کام ایسے ہوتے ہیں جس میں آپ کو زیادہ سوشل انٹریکشن فیس ٹو فیس انٹریکشن کی ضرورت ہوتی ہے اینڈ دے آر سرٹن پیپل ہو ریکوائر سپروویژن ٹیلی کمیوٹ یا ورچوئل ورچولی کام وہ لوگ کر سکتے ہیں دیٹ آر سیلف موٹیویٹیڈ اینڈ دے کین ورک انڈیپینڈنٹلی سو اگین دیٹ ڈپینڈ آن دا نیچر آف دا پیپل ایز ویل ایز دا نیچر آف دا ورک دیٹ واٹ کائنڈ آف ورک کین بی Uh, what kind of job can be given to a virtual wor- worker and what kind, can, kind of job can be uh, brought into the office as well. That brings the workers to the office. So large companies basically they are using this as a means to distribute their workforce and reduce the impact of a disaster at a central facility. For example, if there is a disaster on one then its impact will not be as much as agar sare log ek jagah ke upar kaam kar rahe hain so basically companies find telecommuting to be very helpful in uh, managing their workforce and managing their assets as well as managing the work that they assign to the people right next we have another application called video conferencing video conferencing bahut common example hai basically kya kar rahe hain isme uh, you are transferring voice video uh, between two different locations that are placed at, at two different locations geographically basically. So, a voice or video transfer uh, uh, from one place to another place with the help of uh, very specialized softwares and hardwares as well. Video conferencing a kya fayda it reduces travel expenses as well as time. For example, for example, if you have to a seminar in one then you don't have to move from one location to another location, one country to another country. Instead, you can just use the video conferencing software or video conferencing service that, that is provided by different companies nowadays that charge you some amount and then and also certain kinds of universities also provide the video conferencing facilities for different companies so that they can use that and uh, communicate with the other people or uh, do a certain kind of seminar. Video conferencing softwares bhi hote hain and they not only provide the voice and video transfer, they also provide data and document sharing as well. So multiple people can uh, listen and view the person as well as work on a, cer- a certain document at the same time as well. So video conferencing is very beneficial for people who want to جن کی جاب اس قسم کی ہے دے ہیو ٹو کمیوٹ اینڈ پرفارم سرٹن کائنڈ آف سیمینارس دین وی ہیو انادر اپلیکیشن کال دا الیکٹرانک ڈیٹا انٹرچینج اور ای ڈی آئی بیسیکلی بیسیکلی اس میں کیا ہوتا ہے دیٹ یور ڈیٹا از کمیونیکیٹڈ بٹوین دا کمپیوٹرز آف ون کمپنی ٹو انادر کمپنی اور ون اپلیکیشن پروگرام اور ون اپلیکیشن ٹو انادر اپلیکیشن آن اے سرٹن فارمیٹ سو ایک اسٹینڈرڈائز فارمیٹ ہوتا ہے جس کی بیسس کے اوپر جو ایک کمپنی کا ڈیٹا ہے دیٹ کین بی شیئر ود انادر کمپنی اور دیٹ کین بی یوز بائی انادر کمپنی سو دیٹ دا انفارمیشن فلو ریمینس کانسٹنٹ اینڈ اٹس افیکٹیو ایز ویل اینڈ دیر نو ٹائم ڈیلیز سو بیسیکلی آپ کا جو یہ سسٹم یوز ہو رہا ہے دیٹ ہیپنس بٹوین کسٹمرز اینڈ دا سپلائرز اور دا وینڈرس سو اگر کمپنیز اگر ایک کمپنی جو ہے وہ کسی اور سے پروڈکٹس لے رہی ہے اینڈ دا ادر کمپنیز از دا وینڈر دین ان دونوں کمپنیز میں جو ڈیٹا ایکسچینج ہوگا ڈپینڈنگ آن واٹ کائنڈ آف پروڈکٹ دے ریکوائر ایکسیٹرا اینڈ واٹ شوڈ بی سپلائڈ دین دے دے یوز دا الیکٹرانک ڈیٹا انٹرچینج ٹو کمیونیکیٹ دیٹ ڈیٹا بٹوین دا کمپنیز سملرلی ایف یو ریمبر ہم نے یو پی ایس کی کیس اسٹڈی پڑھی تھی دا یونائٹیڈ پارسل سروس دیٹ واز اے پیکسنگ سروس دے آر آلسو یوزنگ دا ای ڈی آئی دس ٹیکنالوجی ٹو ورک ود دا یو ایس کسٹمرز کسٹمز اینڈ بارڈر پروٹیکشن سی پی وی کے ساتھ ان کا لنک تھا ود دا ہیلپ آف دا ای ڈی آئی تو وہ کیا کر رہے تھے کہ ان کو سی پی وی کو انفارمیشن جو جا رہی تھی اباؤٹ دا پیکیج ود دا ہیلپ آف دا ای ڈی آئی ٹیکنالوجی 
that uh, package kahan se aa raha hai kaun sa package hai what are the the items of the package as well as who purchased the package where the package is being delivered etc is kism ki information jo hai that is being transferred to, from the ups to the cpb with the help of edr so again it uh, gives you a standard of communication between two companies next we have the electronic funds transfer electronic fund transfer for example if you use the atm then again that's an example of uh, electronic funds transfer aapke account mein agar payroll checks uh, receive ho rahe hain if you're working somewhere and that company is giving you the pay, uh, payroll checks in uh, while paying you uh, while transferring the money in your account again jo cheez wo use kar rahe hain ya jo technology wo use kar rahe hain that is called the electronic funds transfer also you can also transfer funds with the help of the atm machine you can transfer funds from your account to another bank account again that is happening with the help of the electronic funds transfer and also if the companies are checking uh, the credits uh, or they're doing the debiting again uh, from one location jidhar aapne apne credit card payment kiya और आपका डिडक्शन हो रही है फ्राम और डेबिट कार्ड पेमेंट की है फॉर एग्जाम्पल और आपकी डिडक्शन हो रही है फ्राम द योर अकाउंट अगेन दैट इज हैपनिंग थ्रू अ नेटवर्क बेस्ड ऑन द टेक्नोलॉजी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक फंड ट्रांसफर सो आपकी ये वाली जो टेक्नोलॉजी है दैट इज बेसिकली यूज इन द बैंकिंग सेक्टर अगेन द वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट यूज ऑफ नेटवर्क इज डिस्टेंस लर्निंग जो कि हम कर रहे हैं यहाँ पे डिस्टेंस लर्निंग अगेन अलाउज यू कि आप अपना मटेरियल इंटरनेट पे डालें अपने जो भी कंटेंट uh, है दैट कैन बी एक्सेस्ड बाय डिफरेंट स्टूडेंट्स एंड यूजर्स एनीवेयर इफ यू हैव द कंटेंट ऑन द वेब एंड आल्सो दे कैन बी एंड देन दे कैन यूज दे कैन बी डाइवर्स नंबर ऑफ टेक्निक्स दैट यू कैन Uh, employ in the distance learning mode for example video lectures daliye presentation slides daliye uh, textual information daliye and also you can uh, do different kind use the chat programs to communicate with the instructors and communicate with the supervisors etc so distance learning networks ki wajah se that is the basic uh, learning sector mein ya education sector mein distance learning ka bahut zyada Uh, importance hai concerning the networks right ji then concern uh, distance learning se uh, uh, related hai team collaboration again aapke distance learning mein bhi collaboration ho sakti hai but team collaboration like we started before is collaborating uh, for work when there are different offices in different uh, areas that are geographically dispersed for example like we said before or up different collaboration software use kar rahe hain collaboration techniques use kar rahe hain that so that you can transfer the information from one place to another or different people can work on the same document with the help of the collaboration software for example ek software hai microsoft office groove that can be used for uh, collaboration it's a software designed to enable collaboration and communication within small teams so different teams can be uh, can use this uh, software and technology to collaborate on different projects uh, for example we have this company called alliance alliance ke jo consultants hain at client project sites different jagah pe dispersed hain and they use groove to collaborating on creating documents so different written materials create karne ke liye jo inke consultants hain working at different locations they use this software to basically collaborate and how are they using this software with the help of telecommunication and with the help of connecting to the internet and connecting to different networks aur ji next we have a case study jisme hum thoda sa batayenge that there's a certain company and uh, they were getting into a certain problem but then the person started uh, using the new technology or started using the telecommunication to make uh, um, to sort of go towards an improved version of the system so case study kya hai it it's called delivering delivering people more efficiently through telecommunications uh, let me read through a few paragraph few sentences of the paragraphs aur hum saath saath wo points mein aap bhi aapko batati jaungi 
Scott Boyce has worked in the Canadian transportation industry for years. So basically, your company under discussion is that is a crew transportation uh, company, a crew transportation industry. The company he used to work for shuttles ra railway crew members to train locations where they are needed. Basically, in the calm, the shuttle means uh, move one person to another person, the crew members to train locations wherever they are needed. But the company had certain kind of problems. The van drivers who shuttled the railway workers could not communicate with the dispatcher while en route. Right? At each stop, the driver would have to call the dispatcher to find for the shuttle service. At each point, the driver would call the dispatcher to find out where to go next. Means, which next stop hai, the driver would have to stop at each uh, stop and figure out and call the dispatcher that I have So, basically, there was no communication uh, system between the driver and the uh, dispatcher. At each stop, this problem frustrated all involved, especially the railways that paid for the shuttle service. With an eye to controlling their margins and cutting costs, railway won more accurate ETAs from their crew transportation providers and the flexibility to accept new trip orders and reroute quickly. This is something the current providers can't give them. So problem kya tha? Ek to ye that they were slow to adopt to telecommunication technologies, right? So uski wajah se problem kya aaya tha? Van drivers jo te, that could not communicate easily and effectively with the dispatcher, especially when they were en route or when they were moving uh, from one place to another. So the basic problem was that the railway company was not happy and also there was no flexibility involved. Then uh, this person recognized that the business was in uh, uh, danger and was not about to change. So in May, 2005, he found, found a Toronto-based Rail Q Express and hired some of his former co-workers to help build the company. Then he built uh, that person built his own company called the Rail Q Express. Now, what are functions of this company? He basically worked with a mobile computing hardware company and a mobile wireless software provider. Two companies ko contact kiya One hardware company ko, one uh, wireless software providers ko. Mobile Data Force to create a unique wireless telecommunication system that connects drivers with dispatchers and company information systems. The system tracks drivers from home base and provides dispatchers with the power to manage routing dynamically while vehicles are in route. Not only this, but it also collects information and develops a history that includes routes and driving times. Then it can analyze the data to optimize the efficiency of dispatches and routing. The system also automates the task for billing customers and paying drivers. So, after the RailQ Express, the new company, Banisi, what were they doing? Number one was they were basically t making use of the technology and concept the technology. They were making use of the telecommunication technology. After telecommunication technology, ko use karke, they made a SE device, banai, a wireless communication device. Banai by contacting the hardware firm as well as contacting the uh, wireless software providers. A wireless telecommunication system that connects drivers with dispatchers and the company information systems. A wireless system where drivers ko connect kar hai, dispatchers ke saath, as well as it is connecting them with the information system. Kya kar hai? It is tracking the drivers. The uh, driver means this route ko wo le rahe hai, wo unko track kar hai as well as dynamically changing route change mein agar koi problem route mein agar koi changes aa rahe hain to wo on the spot it's telling the driver that there is a change in the route and you have to move to some other location and it's also maintaining history of routes and driver times ki kis time pe kaun sa driver pahunch raha hai kaun sa nahi pahunch raha kaun sa route wo le rahe hain so that Jo wo data collect kar rahe hain, wo usko aage ja ke analyze kar rahe and so that they can optimize the paths and also the optimize the efficiency of dispatchers and routing. Also, the system kya kar rahe hain, automatically bill kar rahe and automatically drivers ko according to their work pay kar rahe So, uh, their system was heavily based on the technology but, dif but different kinds of automation techniques 
and by different kinds of track, tracking techniques. Next are the challenges. The biggest challenge in building the system was using the most economical networking technologies based on the location of the van. The system is designed to automatically switch between satellite and GPRS data transmission, depending on the van's location. The less costly GPRS is used in populated areas where coverage is available, and expensive satellite service is used outside of GPRS coverage area. The system can intelligently decide how much information to send and when so that it does not lose information when switching between technologies. So, challenge basically is that most economical networking technologies use kare, but since uh, it's all about uh, moving from one place to another, so they either move in populated area or they move in the less populated area. So, according to the area that the van was moving from, they were using that technology jo us area mein use ho sakti hai uh, so uh, so populated areas mein they were using the gprs uh, technology and um, to transfer information uh, from one from the driver to the dispatcher and also less populated area mein they were make, making use of the satellite transmission so that they can send uh, information from the driver to the dispatcher also uh, the system was intelligently switching between these two um, technologies and it was sending data only that much amount of data that was required so that aapka koi data loss now while you are switching from one technology to another righty so the next uh, milestone for them is uh, to use the RFID scanners so instead of using uh, by simply using GPRS technology to get the data, they would be using the RFID scanners in the uh, vans for tracking the location of the driver. So the drivers who have their ID scan kar sakte RFID ke saad, regions ke saad, and to track their locations, much the way UPS and other shipping companies track the movement of packages. So this way, they basically apne drivers ko track kar sakte hain just like UPS or packaging companies jo hain apne packages ko track karti hain the help of RFID right ji so ye choti si case study thi that was basically defining ke crew uh, transportation company ko problems ho rahe the so that person created his own company based on the telecommunication uh, systems and a different kind of technologies so the technology he used was Eighth he built a, a special kind of a communication device that connects the drivers with the dispatchers and there were other functions that were provided by that device and the technologies being used here were the satellite communication as well as the GPRS. Right, the questions ke hai, case study ke. Number one is what advantages does Rail Crew Express have over its competition? The Scots former employer advantages and simple advantages they were uh, lacking behind in the technology that's why they could not provide as much as what was required by the railway companies so what was required was faster and efficient communication between drivers and dispatchers this was again provided by this new company and happier railway companies because they could get the accurate estimated times that were given by the Drivers, again, flexibility to accept new trip orders and reroute quickly. Because um, ka constant communication, thi, that's why if they reroute se, agar trip orders uh, generate hone the nahe, then they could easily gather information and reroute the driver. So, that, that they provided flexibility that was basically needed by the railway companies and as well as fast and efficient uh, information transfer. Right. Then uh, we have the question, how does the concept of real-time monitoring relate to Rail Queue Express in general? What are the benefits of real-time monitoring? So basically, the work that is real-time monitoring. That real-time, you are getting the data from a certain place and you are manipulating the data or analyzing the data. So basically, real-time monitoring is providing time-relevant information for quick decision making. Again, if you remember that real-time monitoring was being held with the help of dashboards as well. 
company executives ke paas dashboard uh, systems the they were getting the real time information about a certain um, uh, uh, business that was being happening for example uh, aapke real time monitoring was being hap happening at the internet service providers as well on us company ke paas real time monitoring services thi they were looking at uh, the different areas ke कौन से इन्वायरमेंटल कंडीशंस की वजह से या वेदर कंडीशन की वजह से उनका इंटरनेट स्लो हो रहा है किस एरिया में किस एरिया में प्रॉब्लम आ रही है एंड क्यों आ रही है सो रियल टाइम मोनिटरिंग की बेसिस के ऊपर दे वर प्रोवाइडिंग क्विक डिसीजन मेकिंग एंड प्रोवाइडिंग क्विक फिक्सेस टू द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सिमिलरली यहाँ जो रियल टाइम मोनिटरिंग हो रही है उसके फायदे आर वेरी सिंपल इट्स प्रोवाइडिंग अ व्यू ऑफ द मिनट टू मिनट इन्फॉर्मेशन जो मिनट टू मिनट इन्फॉर्मेशन हो रही है वो प्रोवाइड हो रही है एट द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम या एट द सेंटर सो दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन दे कैन रिस्पॉन्ड क्विकली टू द चेंजिंग कंडीशन अगर कोई प्रॉब्लम आ रहा है रूट में दे कैन प्रोवाइड क्विक डिसीजन मेकिंग एंड री रूट द ड्राइवर ऑल्सो एनालाइज द डेटा फॉर ऑपरेशनल एफिशेंसी जो भी डेटा आ रहा है अगेन बिकॉज दे आर गोइंग टू डू द क्विक डिसीजन मेकिंग सो उस डिसीजन मेकिंग की वजह से उनकी ऑपरेशनल एक्सेलेंसी जो है वो ज्यादा होगी उनके ऑपरेशन बेहतर तौर पे काम कर सकेंगे जो भी उनके बिजनेस ऑपरेशन हैं दे कैन ऑप्टिमाइज दैट ऑपरेशन बाय डूइंग क्विक डिसीजन मेकिंग एंड वाई वॉज अ डिसीजन मेकिंग क्विक वाई बिकॉज दे कुड गेट द इन्फॉर्मेशन इन रियल टाइम एंड इन द टाइमली बेसिस so that accordingly they can take the decisions and solve the problems so these are the basic advantages of decision making simply jab rail queue express uh us kisam ka system use kar rahe the that was providing them with constant information about the driver they were tracking the drivers they were uh, dynamically changing the routes as well as maintaining the history of the routes so basically wo us system ki madad se apna operation jo hai वो एक्सेलेंट कर रहे हैं दे वर क्रिएटिंग ऑपरेशनल एक्सेलेंसी एंड दस लाइक वी सेट बिफोर दे वर क्रिएटिंग एन कॉम्पिटेटिव एज सो बिजनेस में वी सेट अगेन दैट दे कूड यूज दे कैन यूज टेक्नोलॉजी दे कैन डू बेटर मैनेजमेंट एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ द टेक्नोलॉजी दे कैन क्रिएट कॉम्पिटेटिव एडवांटेज फॉर देयर कंपनी एज वेल एज डू बिजनेस इन एन एफिशेंट मैनर Right, so today what we did was we talked about the different kinds of wireless communication protocols advantages dekhe the humne pehle wireless communication ke that uh, it it allows you to go into areas and uh, provide network connectivity in areas jinme cabling nahi ho sakti hai and it also provides flexibility uh, in organizing the work and accessing the remote areas उसके अलावा वी वन वी स्टॉक्ट अब डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड्स हमने ब्लूटूथ स्टैंडर्ड देखा था वाईफाई स्टैंडर्ड देखा था वाई मैक्स देखा था दैट वर ऑल वर्किंग ऑन डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ रेंजेस डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ स्पीड्स एंड डिपेंडिंग ऑन द काइंड ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी दैट यू रिक्वायर आप बिजनेस में वो टेक्नोलॉजी यूज कर सकते हैं वाईफाई ब्लूटूथ जो था वो पर्सनल एरिया नेटवर्क क्रिएट करने के लिए यूज हो रहा है वाई फाई वो बींग यूज फॉर वायरलेस लैंड एंड हॉटस्पॉट्स बनाने के लिए यूज हो रहा है वाई मैक्स वो बेसिकली यूज इन एरियाज वे इट वॉज डिफिकल्ट टू इंस्टॉल वाई फाई और एनी काइंड ऑफ डी एस एल ब्रॉडबैंड अगैन देर वॉज यूज ऑफ आर एफ आई डी एज वेल आर एफ आई डी टेक्नोलॉजी वॉज बेसिकली यूज टू ट्रैक द मूवमेंट ऑफ गुड्स और ट्रैक द मूवमेंट ऑफ एनिमल्स और पीपल एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा ऑल्सो देन वी हैव द सेलुलर नेटवर्क सेलुलर नेटवर्क आपके बेसिकली किस तरह काम कर रहे हैं आपके different towers and that are being used in different cells jisko hum kehte hain so uh, the communication jo hai that moves between different one uh, transmission area to another transmission area or un transmission areas ko basically cell bolte hain so your device communicates with one uh, tower or wo tower information send karta hai to another transmission area mein jo tower hai usko so the transmission moves from cell to cell until it reaches the uh cellular service providers uh for uh transferring the information from one place to another so this is how the cellular networks work and they uh, they have different standards uh working for the cellular network jisme gsm hai gprss cdma hai 
as well as different there were different there are different generations uh, based on the technology that is being used in the cellular networks just me humne dekha tha that uh, 1g was about uh, analog transmission 2g was about small digital transmission 3g is about uh, even more amount of voice over ip as well as rich media transmission as well as graphic transmissions and the upcoming 4g is about streaming videos on the cellular networks then in the end we were talking about how the businesses can use the networks and telecommunication for uh, their own purposes for example humne dekha tha ke um, आप नेटवर्क्स के जरिए अपने लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क्स क्रिएट कर सकते हैं मेट्रोपॉलिटन एरिया नेटवर्क्स क्रिएट कर सकते हैं ऑल्सो यू कैन यूज द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डॉक्यूमेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम्स सो दैट यू कैन सेंड डॉक्यूमेंट्स ऑनलाइन और यू कैन सेंड डॉक्यूमेंट्स थ्रू ई मेल्स एंड मेनिपुलेट द डॉक्यूमेंट्स ऑल्सो देर वॉज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डेटा इंटरचेंज दैट वॉज बींग यूज to transfer data from one company computer to another company computer or from one application that is used by one company to another application so basically it's a transfer of data between different companies and it gives you a standard format for transferring that data and then there was electronic funds transfer that was basically used in the banking sector to transfer funds to transfer the payrolls and to uh use a credit and debit cards at different outlets so that is basically uh the application of the networks as well then education sector may there was a uh, distance learning as well as uh in the office settings you can use a team collaboration collaboration can also work in the distance learning uh environment as well so different uh, industrial sectors may different kinds of networking and communication technologies can be used to optimize their work to optimize their operational uh, excellence and to optimize their business processes so that they can work in a more efficient manner so this is all for today next we are going to uh, study the internet aur hum dekhenge ki internet mein kaun si technologies basically use ho rahe hain and also the world wide web what is the world wide web aur uske different features aur uske concerning concepts kaun kaun se hain so that uh, and that would end your chapter of the um, telecommunications internet and the wireless communication so in today's lecture we have finished working on one of the platforms of the in, uh, it infrastructure that was about telecommunication and wireless communication that this platform is again uh, it infrastructure platform is again very important for the information systems and for the businesses because without communication without networking businesses cannot work well and because of uh, the globalization there are people working on even remote areas so this networking and telecommunication basically provides the capable workers to work from different locations and uh prove uh, productive for the society as well So this is all for today we will meet in the next lecture thank you very much